Good morning. Got up early, headed out for uh, about a four mile hike. So I'm gonna pretty much fish my way back down river. So, got some good sleep last night. The river looks beautiful. So stay tuned, should be some good stuff today. So the deal is, the water level is way higher because there's still a ton of snow in the mountains here. You know, it's kind of hard to believe that we have Alps quality mountains in California, but we do. Sometimes there's snow still on the mountains in July. That's what we're seeing here, so. Anyways, looking forward to uh, getting to the top of the trail, getting some good views. And I'll uh, try to show you guys what I'm seeing up there. I just stumbled upon a family of marmots. They're out here having some breakfast. Yep, just woke up. Good morning. unrecognizable with all the green and the water and the wildflowers everywhere. It's pretty freaking rad, man. All right. I can see the end of the trail. Snow. There's still snow, which turns in to this. quick before I hike back down there's nobody here look dude I'm by myself <laughs> there's not a soul here and I'm in a national park and it's 9 30 in the morning what's everybody doing get out of bed what are you doing get out of bed crazy just crazy Pretty incredible. And I know some of you guys are thinking, oh man, waders would be great right about now. Except it doesn't look like it. This is about five feet deep right in front of me, too deep for waders. But the way the water is, I'm having to do a lot of bank fishing this trip. And there's a lot of trees and over overhang. I don't think the waders are coming out this trip. This creek is uh, either way too deep or the current is way too swift. And I don't feel like drowning.
Boy, this looks about as fishy as it gets. Got one. Oh, it's a nice one too. Oh no. Get caught in the bank. Nice. Check that brown trout out. That is a solid, solid brown trout for this creek. For this river, I should say. Whoop. All right, well, lively guy. Barbless hooks, baby. Comes right out. Had a bite just a second ago. Popped off. Got another one. Ah, come on, baby. I think it might be a brook trout. Yep. First brook trout of the trip. Oh God, don't pop off. There we go. Sweet, I've had two other fish pop off almost instantaneously after catching that brown trout. So let's get some sunlight on him. There we are. Look at that thing. Oh, all right. Easier than bending all the way down there. And now my line's all caught up in the log. That's what I get. I almost fell right in. Got another one. Another brookie. Apparently this is the section for brook trout and brown trout and whatnot. So anyways, there we are. Let's get him unhooked. All right, I can't really bend down and put him in the water, but he's really lively. So live another day, my friend. Live another day. Get it right over there on the other side of the, the river in the seam. So what you want to do is you don't want to fish in the middle. I mean, you can. Eventually your, your uh, fly will get probably pushed off to the side, but it also makes it go really fast, just like that. Like if I cast it in the middle, it just sails down. So the fish kind of like to hang out on either side, on either side of the, uh, the current. So it's a little easier for them to swim. They don't expend as much energy. And that's where all the bugs get pushed by the current. So that's what you want to do. And that's what I'm doing, man. And knocking them dead. And right as I turn the camera off, of course, I hook another one. It's another brook trout, man. Brook trout dominate this section of the river, apparently. My hand isn't even having time to dry off, which is funny. Look at that guy. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Crazy. Pop the hook out nice and easy. There we go, buddy. There he goes. Have a good day, bud. Got another one. Brook trout. Get him up. There we go. Whew. Oh, there he goes. Fell off. He started freaking out. I count it. It counts. 
just casting right underneath that bush and in the seam kind of also. And they're kind of hooking up all this, this way down here. I mean, just. Sorry, I'm not uh, really getting many of the, uh, the take on film, but frankly, it's hard. <laughs> That's fishing, man. You can get not one bite for half an hour and all of a sudden get three in a row. Went into the fly box again. Had to figure out what I wanted to use and I ended up with this little guy. Pheasant tail? I don't know. What do you call that? Somebody put it in the comments. I don't know what you call that. Yeah, put in the comment what kind it is because I have zero idea, but I know they work, so I tied it on. All right, I think I've about outfished this pool, so I'm gonna move down river a little way, see if I can find another good looking area. They're hard to find, but man, this one sure was nice. All right, another gorgeous spot. They all are, but I mean, I'm actually finding some calm water, which is good. Got another one, got him. It's funny, I saw him, changed my fly, put on a fly that looks like a red ant first cast. There we go. Nice rainbow. Nice sized one. All right, there we go. Get him back. All right, there we go, buddy. Perfect. All right, that'll do it for now. I'm starving. I took off right first thing in the morning for that waterfall hike. I've been fishing ever since and now it's coming up on noon, so time to get some food. All right guys, a little bit of a change of plans. I uh, decided to pack up and head home. I've been here, this is basically day three. And I came and I saw and I conquered and after this morning, you know, you can't really do much better than that. So um, I hit the trifecta, brown trout, brook trout, rainbow trout, you know, all in the same day. Just to end on a high note, I'm going to go home and have the next couple of days off. So as always, guys, I really appreciate your time. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great day.